Oh, yeah. it's a suit and a proton pack, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. You've got the answer. The Appleton Oak, Diamond Dave Damone, and I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we're checking out Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is my first time watching it, and I'm super pumped for this. I've already seen it, and I love it. I hope you do too. Seen it, loved it. Can't wait to see if there's things I missed or some Easter eggs. I have not seen it. It is my first time watching, folks. Let's go! Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Bad Medicine channel. Before we get into our video, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, Likewise. And guys, I can't tell you how many times I've found myself trying to find where a show or movie I want to watch is being shown, only to spend a half hour scrolling through, looking on the internet, trying to find it. That's where Likewise comes in. You type in what you want to watch, they show you where it's at done. Likewise has another great feature called Today's Cards, where every day users will get their own personalized recommendations on different lists that you can go through of movies, books, whatever. It's all personalized just for you. So I loved the movie The Rover, right? It's an A24 movie. Thanks to Likewise, I got introduced to a whole world of A24 films that I just can't stop watching. It's awesome. You can save all your shows and all your movies in one spot so you never lose them and you never have to go searching for them again. I mean, how many times have you forgotten to watch something like, oh yeah, I wanted to watch that months ago, I forgot it came out. With Likewise, you'll always keep track of your stuff. This app is 100% free, no strings attached. So whether you're looking for movies, TV shows, books, podcasts, Likewise offers you all the information you need to find your favorite titles, genres, categories, and it'll help give you more recommendations based on what you already like. And you can also make a list of specific genres, movies, TV shows, podcasts, and anything else you want to recommend or show to other users. So guys, do us a favor and click that link in the description box below. Check out the Likewise app. I know you're going to like it. I love this thing. It saved me so much time. It's awesome. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to our friends out at Likewise for helping us out. This is a two-way street. We know you guys are going to love it. So without further ado, let's go! What was that? Oh, I think I know what that was. I think that was the little, uh... Was... Oh, I was wrong. I thought it was the little antenna thing. Oh, you thought it was the antenna? No. Oh! God. That is. No way. That is awesome if that is. Good old Harold there. It is. It's gotta be. The last thing I saw him in was oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> He was planning on that happening. Wait, was that? I think we just lost Egon. I mean, you just demonstrate your aptitude for science. Uh -huh. Got it. And what? Mom! So. I'm literally driving to pick up a check right now. My father died. Relax, I didn't even know. Sounds like my father. Did your dad uh, abandon your family and move to a farm in the middle of nowhere? Ooh, getting the eviction. Do you dare and break into your grandfather's house? I mean, to be fair, guys, I haven't seen the original Ghostbusters in probably 25 years. Yeah, same. Thank you. Go to the gold mine of junk I found out back. Under the dining table, now! 
Police were only here for a week. Give or take. You said we were only gonna be here for a week. You said you had money saved up. Yeah, well that was before I had children. <laughs> Jesus. What's that? How am I supposed to know? Can I help you? Oh, oh Janine, right? I'm uh, Janine Melnitz. We spoke on the phone. I just tried to keep the bills paid on time. Like a money manager? He could barely keep the power <laughs> on. So he left us nothing? I wouldn't say that. There is quite a bit of debt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Helps, uh, I love that she had her the red glasses on, too. Well, actually, you know what? You'd think the land itself would be worth or something. Money. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of land, too. Yeah. Cool place. I don't own it. You look pretty young now in the business. I saw the... <laughs> Help on it. Under experience, you put friendly with a smiley face. How old are you? 17. You think you can put in a good word for me? I can tell them you have a pulse. <laughs> it's all it takes these days. <laughs> What's up, Casanova? Boy, uh, word travels fast. Yeah, already taking some heat. Oh, boy. This place looks like it could be haunted to me. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a, a creepy old setup. Uh. Come on, don't you watch horror movies? You never go out into the dark and look at it. <laughs> oh, is this where we're gonna see it? Ooh, that there is it hard. is. It's not. Yes. Oh, what a tease! <laughs> what a tease! <laughs> Playing chess with ghosts. How are the jokes coming along? Why should you never trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> 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 no, that joke wasn't half bad. Hey, don't be yourself. <laughs> don't be yourself. Don't be yourself. Hey, there's the man. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah, first day. Can you imagine who they've got teaching summer school? I teach you. I'm so sorry. Most of the kids that go here, they're not very bright. Hey, Colin. He's. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Colin. I know. You don't want to be here. I don't want to be here either. Your uh, school is still operating on VHS. <laughs> it's great. It's called Cujo. Imagine Beethoven if he contracted rabies and just started mauling. <laughs> she sits alone. <laughs> and is that Dave? <laughs> <laughs> is that Dave? How's Dave and Dave? <laughs> Actually, my grandfather died. So you're here to uncover the mystery of his death. No, it was natural causes. Are you sure it wasn't unnatural causes? Pretty sure it was just a heart attack. I'm Phoebe. Oh, cool. Uh, and podcast. I call myself podcast because of my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dave. <laughs> you all called him the dirt farmer? I meant nothing by it. Great customer, though. He bought some bizarre shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love the bizarre. delivery. Of all the different characters. This is a volcano, all right? Builds and crests a tectonic earthquake. Notice a little P wave followed by a large S wave. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. This is the pattern in Somerville. Large P wave, small S wave. Set up geophones, but I can't triangulate. Are you using three? I know how many sides there are in a triangle. <laughs> I just thought you were being obtuse. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's it going? No, it's not good. You're okay. Good He's just, just touching every single one of them. Just... Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised it fits me. Yeah, it's my boyfriend's actually. Oh. <laughs> 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 he takes it off. You know. Mine's been closed since the 40s. I just put all these signs up because uh, hazardous chemical leaks and when I kind of dynamite. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, buddy. The whole town was basically a mining operation. They were forced to close down the whole enchilada. Miners who had worked for years began leaping down the mine shaft. That looks a lot like New York. Right? From the first one? Yep. Gargoyles. Like I said, it's been about 25 years. Oh, 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 oh. What a shit. <laughs> hey, 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 whoa. So what's your podcast about? Mostly mysteries and the unknown. The show really finds its voice on episode 46. Episode 46. <laughs> Look, this is totally cool. This is a no, a zero press. Do you want to be my lab partner? Yeah, sure, I'd love to. Well, this is me. The dirt farmer? <laughs> yeah, he was my grandfather. 
So you're just gonna walk in? Are you recording me? Just in case your body's pulled apart into tiny pieces by an unseen dark force. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see how this all comes together with all the kids and the adults. Yeah. Harold, do you think? Playing with her? That's kind of what I was wondering. Because the little antenna thing was going off in the background, too, when she was in the bed. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> this is really picking up fast. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's a way to hide a trap. Oh, yeah. Because we thought he just put it in a regular hole. Yeah. But no, there's a nice elaborate. Oh. No way. Killer replica. A ghost trap? Yeah. How do you, of all people, not know about this? I'm ashamed. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. Oh, boy. <laughs> not a replica. I found it in my living room. What happened in New York? The whole city was freaking out. None of this rings in the <laughs> uh, There's Grandpa. Your uh, dad never mentioned this? Just my mom. Just your mom, oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Science is giving yourself the plague and gambling on the cure. Science is reckless. Totally, yes. It's a safety pin through the nipple of academia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was thinking, no way. Well, if he knows everything that happened in the 80s, why would he want to potentially let a ghost yeah, out? Yeah, you wouldn't think he'd he want to open it. reasons why science is reckless. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Oops. We should probably get out of here. You're an adult. And like <laughs> <laughs> Your grandfather was a ghostbuster. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware? <laughs> I'd be ecstatic. Yeah. I, I had one of those ghost traps as a kid, that yeah. and a proton pack. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Little answer just running around with his proton pack. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Aztec death whistle. That's designed to ward off evil spirits. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, Aztec death whistle. Uh, can I keep it? Yes. You brought them home. It's a service I provide. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm also an escort. <laughs> Look, the truth is, is I've always kind of wondered what lurked inside this haunt box. The only thing lurking inside here is my slowly dying soul. Is that what that smell is? <laughs> <laughs> I think Gruberson's trying to bone your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Gruberson, what a True. name. Wait, isn't this what we saw there? The souls of the dead are ruled by a mighty god. Goes are protected by a powerful gatekeeper. The key master. The gatekeeper and keymaster must assume the form of beasts. What did we let out? Young. We're heading up the mountain. You coming? Yeah, I'll just leave. I guess yeah. my shift oh, is over. Ford Ranchero. <laughs> what are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? My mom won't say it, but we're broke. The only thing that's left in our name is this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us. Then why do you live here? I'm fourth generation dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Ejecto Cito. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they I think they think it was a firework or something. <laughs> Gas buildup. This thing's ancient. It's written in some kind of cuneiform. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Somerville's not even a hundred years old, but this thing's written in a language from thousands of years ago. Can I have this? Yeah, sure. Weird. <clears throat> well, what about Phoebe? You think she'd want any of this? Oh, I'm sure Phoebe will find something. <laughs> just... like the townspeople didn't wonder why he had old grain silos, like, uh, like transformed <laughs> into giant electric whatever they are. Oh, the old fire pole. pole. Back. Yep. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, yeah. it's suit in a proton pack, I bet. <laughs> There's your proton. There it is. Dave. Some brain scans there in the background. Two of the CRT emitters are missing. <laughs> <laughs> This is the coolest part because you can actually see the inner workings of the proton pack. What are you, what are you talking about? You don't know what any of that stuff does. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can see how it works. No, you can't. <laughs> that doesn't explain anything. You get to, to see the know. inside. Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professional. We're ready to sleep. Hey. You're awake. What kind of scientist was Grandpa? The kind that repels loved ones. <laughs> I was thinking of grabbing dinner with Gary, Mr. Gruber. <laughs> His name is Gary Gruber. <laughs> Yo, I've stayed away from all the spoilers, and don't tell me, but is Dan Aykroyd and company in this? You just said don't tell me. I know, but it's, a question it's one of those things. <laughs> don't tell me, but is? Thinking out loud here. How'd you know how to fix it? I mean, no offense, but you are 12. Kind of met my grandfather last night. Switch me on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's good to hear on your back. Yeah. <laughs> Ego. Yeah. That's so. right. <laughs> Ray. Ego. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he didn't hit it. He destroyed it. <laughs> that might be a field fire there. Yeah. I love how the kids are just like totally free to do whatever they want. It's awesome. It's like small town yeah, stuff. Yeah, total you know? throwback. Oh. I got to come back here for my Halloween episode. Who's that green slime? S that slimer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it is, he's really old and fat. No, that's not Slimer. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, Whoa. Eating all that metal. <laughs> Lighten him up. Get the trap. Okay. Oh, got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to do it again. Oh, no. Did they ever do that in the first two? I don't know. But they got away? Whoa. Like, bit through the the power link there. No. Well, you can do this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 It's exactly what I would expect a kid to do. Hey! <laughs> this is podcast. He's my friend. You're a friend? Hey, dude. We need a ride. Do you know how to drive? Get in the back. And then the porous limestone. Are you drunk? Or are you just really bored? Because no. I think I could see you falling asleep. An allergy to science. Uh, I mean, it's an answer to all the madness. Phoebe's dad a scientist? Oh. Or was... Gross. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> He's a gross. Her grandfather was Egon Spangler. Oh, you just were getting reports of some kind of animal taking a bite out of Steve Fletcher's truck. <laughs> Muncher. Muncher. <laughs> so that's the name of it now, Muncher? Yeah, that's I what guess. we'll go with. I hope we get Slimer. Well, you know. Well, you know. We better get Slimer. There! <laughs> Is that a free floating metal muncher? It has a gunner seat? I like how it's, <laughs> it's sad and just that other arm just. I guess I'll open this. Not the car. No! <laughs> Should be a one hander. <laughs> 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 it's 
got quite a battery life on that. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's get them this time. All right, they're going to get their first capture here. Oh, come on, get them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, don't you close your eyes. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> We just caught a ghost. Oh. <laughs> I was here last night. Oh, that's where they're running music. to. Okay, music again. Yep. Gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. We're screwed. We're so screwed. Hey, hey. it's Winky. License registration. I thought <laughs> I heard something say Gozer. I was there. What brings you here? Lucky. Good messing with my inmates. Sorry, Dad. Hey. Don't we get a phone call? Who are you going to call? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a line. Yes! yes! I can't believe it. Raise a call and we're closed. Wait, are you Ray Stans, the Ghostbuster? And now I'm hanging up. Hang on, please. Calling about Egon Spangler. Egon Spangler can rot in hell. Whoa! Died last week. Weren't you two friends? What happened to you guys? We did our job too well. We went from 10 calls a week to one if we were lucky. I started to tell people that their little ghost problems didn't matter because the world was coming to an end. An Ecto-1, our old Cadillac is gone. All the traps, 16 ounces of fuel isotope, all gone. They found me about 10 years later, some small town in Oklahoma. Oh. There's this mountain and it has these ancient carvings it, it, and- Don't go chasing ghosts. Egon Spangler was my grandfather. You know, I was gonna say that was one hell of a long call they gave me. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. What the hell were you thinking? You two could have really hurt yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. Did you catch any of that? So it's like a trap. Right now. You were supposed to look after her this summer. I was. <laughs> <laughs> we caught a ghost tonight. Okay, we starting to sound like your lunatic grandfather. Oh, Phoebe. Whoa. She didn't mean it. <laughs> you can you can get there. No, you can't. <laughs> Paul Rudd is just so money. I understand you drove around town destroying expensive property. Don't you think your father came out here for a reason? No. I think he was a sad old man who turned his back on his family for a stupid farm in a town nobody cares about. You love science like me. Why didn't you tell me my grandfather was Egon Spangler? But all I see are reminders that I didn't mean a thing to him. He's not nuts. Well, then he's an asshole. Ouch. Damn. It's pretty hardcore there, Mom. Yeah. Blue velvet. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's <laughs> like, like, you'll see the... Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, ran one over. <laughs> Not as cute. Hey, <laughs> <ball. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> he threw the ice cream. <laughs> oh no, is he gonna be the Rick Moranis in this one? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Something's happening inside that old mine. Yeah. Gozer was a Sumerian god who once walked amongst the living. What exactly is happening here? Oh boy. Smart. Doesn't seem sketchy at all. Is that Gozer? Gozer isn't he or she. I wonder where this one leads to. What are those holes in the wall? <laughs> They're vacancies. If this is a tomb, where are all the bodies? Found one! Pretty calm for fighting <laughs> a body in a, in a cave or a mine. Podcast has been pretty fearless this whole. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool character. He's been in here for seventy-five years. It looks fantastic. Something was coming, and he knew it. That almost looked like J.K. Simmons. Oh, those were written in the house. Nineteen eighty-four, ghosts attack New York City. Twenty twenty-one. Oh boy. Did you guys hear that? I would say just trying to get out as fast as you can. <laughs> Probably be the top strategy here. Oh, 
Egon had it ready to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what's been keeping him at bay. Yeah, he's built that. Wow. The only reason why this little town is still kicking is because of that. Yeah, because of what Egon set up. He was right all along. He was standing guard even when no one believed him. He sacrificed everything. Bummer. <laughs> 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 this kid. Oh. He's showing her. Yep. No. Yeah, it's going to get to both of them, just like in the first one. Mom? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Only Zool. There is no mom. There is only Zool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> The key master. Oh, he's trying to stop it. Oh, boy. <laughs> what is all this? This isn't a farm, it's a trap. <laughs> this is what he's been working on all those years. What building is model? Building the model. <laughs> Gozer is protected by two evil spirits. The keymaster and the gatekeeper. No gatekeeper, no Gozer. Like mom. So they can unite. I like your eyes. <laughs> 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 Thanks. It's an ANSI class one electromagnetic deadbolt. It's unpickable. What are you doing? <laughs> Eat his way out. It's one way to do it. Yep. Yes, there, there it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's been waiting for those. <laughs> the whole movie. A bunch of dads out on their front porch. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phones. <laughs> The skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. Yeah. Oh, there's the the big baddie. I have built this temple for you, so that you might return to Earth. We can rule the world. Oh, not doing that. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, what do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Have you come to offer yourself in sacrifice? Are you prepared to die? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> that RC car is amazing. What's going on? Yeah. What's happening? Where am Mom, I? It's okay. You're kind of possessed. And you get kind of humpy. Humpy. <laughs> 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 you got humpy. Yeah. No, 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 no. Pull the lever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. 
<laughs> Did not see that coming. No. Hey, flat top. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I knew they'd be back. I command you under the National Invasive Species Act to depart this world immediately. Bravo. <laughs> Are you a god? Ray? Oh, come on, Ray. <laughs> Yeah, we're all gods. I thought that we had busted up for good. <laughs> on the count of three, go on to one. <laughs> <laughs> She's got some power now. Yeah. Oh. I don't remember this job being so painful. We could have been the most <laughs> spectacular power couple, but no, you always had to vanquish. And that's probably the number one reason why. <laughs> We're finished. All right. What you got? What you got? Oh! Oh, look at the hand. Wow. Oh, look at that. That is so <laughs> cool. Holy shit. I can't believe they did that. Oh, what a shot. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, he's gonna power him up. Yep. <laughs> uh. I thought you might turn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't believe you. We should call a mission, my friend. That felt real. Yeah, that. really did. I like your style. Who's that one? Callie. Callie Spangler. Spangler? <laughs> Weird name. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I totally thought I lost you. Sorry about that. Well, that was weird. Mm -hmm. Um, Back there, maybe we... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> There's a call back to the original. Yeah. You gotta be my podcast. Mystical Tales of the Unknown Universe. MTW, that's you? You're my subscriber. <laughs> really found its voice in the 46 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you home, get you all cleaned out. Hey. Well, they did really good. Yeah. yeah. Good moment for those two. Nice. Amazing send off. Oh, is that it? It's a shame that you won't be able to hear, able to hear this awesome music, but you know what it is. You know what yeah. it is. Yeah. Tell me what uh, this is. Lines. Wavy lines. <laughs> I can't believe you used to shock your students. I always have the guys. <laughs> Try this one. It's a five pointed star. How are you doing that? Did you mark the cards? You did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it works. <for> me. <laughs> what is it? From the World's Fair at Flushing Meadow in 1964. I shouldn't take it. We might not be coming back. I got another one at home. <laughs> <laughs> You've done very well for yourself. I don't do it for me. I do it for my kids, and I want to be an example of what's possible. I came in looking for a steady paycheck. I started this business with one employee, and I've grown it into a thriving global enterprise. But I will always be a Ghostbuster. So do you buy it? Just feeling that way. <laughs> He's gonna fix her up. Oh well, yeah, he was act he was wondering what they did to you. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude. All right, <laughs> there it was. Worth the wait. Oh my god. Worth the wait. Oh. I, I am wondering about like the years when they put the years in the rocks because wasn't a schedule supposed to come out in 2020 or not? I can't remember. 
Because I wonder if they then edited it in to yeah. be 21 instead of 20 on the wall. probably but, did. Yeah. yeah. That was my only little thing about it. Digital play. editing probably wouldn't have been overly difficult for that. No. But, no. but, yeah. Come on. Well, it's your it, first time viewers. Yeah. So how about the first time viewers yeah. go first? So, like you said, this is my first time watching it. And, guys, it's just so refreshing to go to the movies and just have fun again. You know, I like how the movie just kind of, they jumped right into it. They didn't have to explain a whole lot. The kids just got down and got into it. And it was had a great throwback to the original cast and a lot of tidbits in there. Like I said, I don't think I've seen the original Ghostbusters <laughs> in probably over 20 years. Uh, I'm going to go back and watch it now, though, <laughs> because this was fantastic. Loved it. And like I said, it was just a fun movie. It was just, you know, it didn't it didn't have all the other nonsense that a lot of movies have. It was just fun. And I and I thoroughly enjoyed it. 4.8 out of 5 answers. Oh. oh. Loved it. Absolutely Four, loved wow. it. Four, four, and I'm not eight. the biggest Ghostbusters yeah, fan in the world, but I, I loved it. I thought it was me. great. Nice. It's great. What? Yeah, so for me, I'm, I might be caught up in the moment on here uh, for, some <laughs> this, for some of this movie, but... I'm right with you, Quinn. I, for me, my uh, Ghostbusters was pretty watched highly in my youth there, <laughs> especially number one. Uh, so a lot of this was great to see again. They really did a fantastic job of throwing back all those little tidbits. I can't wait to watch this again because I know I probably missed some stuff, but the stuff I did catch, I was like, yes. It was so refreshing to see. Uh, if I were to have one little nitpick, it is, I wish they got into the action just a little bit more sooner, but that's just, like I said, a tiny little nitpick. Yeah, I thought they jumped into it pretty yeah, quick. It yeah, uh, goes pretty fast. I mean, they kind of did like a, you know, give you a little something, pull back. Oh, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. You know, yeah. They, they, it's still good. I just wish yeah. it probably gives a little more action. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, seeing Harold again in that hologram mm -hmm. got me a little emotional, and I love when movies get me emotional because it, it gets it, you whatever feel you get, and it was just awesome to see. So for, I'm so happy they did that. So for my rating, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 on the answer scale. Again, this whole cast did awesome. Bravo, Bravo Ritman or Reiterman, however you pronounce right, right. Last, however you pronounce your last name. <laughs> fantastic job, Bravo to the cat. So this is my second time seeing it. My uh, fiance and I saw it in the theater right when it came out. It's kind of our thing as movies, and you guys mm -hmm. know that. I go to a ton of movies. It's nothing for me to even go to the movies in the theater two or three times if I really enjoy them. And I know some people think that's wild. Like, why would you see a movie in the theater wow. twice? Well, when it's your thing, like, that's, yeah. that's it. So I love the theater experience, but this is my second time watching it. So... I, you know, obviously, um, when it came out, I knew it was a really good movie. It was very enjoyable. There was a few things that I missed watching it again. Oh, yeah. it um, but coming back and watching it a second time, it's just... It, <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of echo what Quinn said. When a movie is this fun and it's this good, uh, I, I just it doesn't get old watching it a second time. No. At no point. You know, you're laughing through it all. A few things you forgot. It was done so well. And, y you know, it's... It's it's funny talking about a movie like Ghostbusters 2 and talking about getting emotional, right? And we have a lot of fun on this podcast, and we take ourselves pretty lightly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can just rip on you for Sorry. it. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of fun on this channel. Um, you, you know, but there, there's times when you, you get real, and Andrea talked about some emotion, Dave talked about emotion, and I, you know, I was the same way in the theater, and... Like, it's just not something you expect, right? Yeah. You just, oh, it's going to be fun, whatever. And the whole movie's fun. And, you know, I thought about it, and you, you think about it again. And, uh, you know, I don't know if him coming back necessarily is is what gets you. I think it's the idea that sometimes, um, you know, especially as, as, as parents and for people that you love, sometimes in life you're going to do things um, that they might not understand. Um, that are in their best interest and you make sacrifices for the people that you love and you do the best that you can with what's in your heart to try to protect them and people don't always understand that and sometimes they never do and in this movie the resolution was she spent years and years and years hating her father and I think he, he knew that right but yeah. he knew at the end of the day um, it was for her protection and it was for her good. And he sacrificed his relationship with her and her grandchild for all those years because he was trying to save them and because he loved them and save the world for them. And I know that's heavy 
or a comedy, but when you have, you know, a, a group of grown men getting, you know, quasi emotional <laughs> over a movie that's supposed to be a comedy, I think it says a lot for the, the movie and, and, the, and the writers and the way they portray the story. So what is your score there then? Oh God, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna go a four and a half too, which I think is uh, <laughs> one of the highest rankings I've given any um, movie. But uh, from a comedy standpoint, you know, and, and one of the criticisms I did see, and I'll make, I'll make this quick, is some people were like, oh, there's, there's too much CGI. But you know, the thing is, they didn't try to hide that there was yeah. CGI, yeah. and it was a Ghostbuster, so you knew there was gonna be CGI. So going into it and being like. This is Ghostbusters. If you yeah. watch the original, obviously they had to do special effects and in the nation and they didn't really hide away from that. You know what I'm saying? Like the, Hey, yeah. we're going to use CGI. It's going to be blatantly obvious. Just enjoy that as part of the movie. And that was the, really the only criticism that I saw anywhere. And I didn't see that as a thing for the movie at all. So again, 4.5 out of five answers. It, it very much felt like an eighties movie. Yeah. In our, in our current, you know, current time, it had that feel, you know, really enjoyable. Yeah, you know, and I, I don't know if I'm the biggest Ghostbusters fan of us, but I'm a huge you had all the toys. Fan. Yeah. Yeah. All the toys. I had the he proton is. pack, the ghost catcher, the PKG <laughs> meter. <laughs> I, the, the proton pack. I had the the PKG meter. I had the the ghost trap. I had an Ecto one. I had the toys because I have I watched the cartoon as we, as well. The real Ghostbusters. Um, one of the first movies I think I saw in the theater is my mom took me to the big old theater at Chilton <laughs> and we watched Ghostbusters 2. So I, I've always loved this franchise. And so when they came back to it, I, was, I didn't know what to expect. But we went, my wife and I went to it and we saw it and I loved every second of it. The comedy, the ghosts, then getting the, bringing back the three mainstays yep. and then for Harold at the end which was awesome. I thought it was a great send off for him. We've seen it in other movies, you know, like we're big fans of Fast 7. You know, we love that one too. So this was a great send off for Harold. And I think Jason Retman, the son of Ivan, knocked it out of the park. And I think he did his dad proud with mm -hmm. us. So I am going to give it a 4.9 out of oh, five answers. Four nine. Because <laughs> it's, because it was, <laughs> It, it was. It, it, it's it, a great movie. It was almost it, perfect. It, it's. It, it was, was two hours. It doesn't seem like it's two hours. It no, just it is a great like movie to, from minutes. start to finish. I mean, from all the little ghosts, you know, like pointing her in the right direction and all that stuff yep. was just icing on the cake. It was. And not just saying this movie was for guys too. My wife also would probably give it a 4.8 answers on the answer scale as well because she loved it too and she wasn't a big fan of the franchise either. My fiance loved the little marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. <laughs> so there you have it for the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Diamond Dave Damone, Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn. I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.